Steve, we have a, a nice little rest, uh, but we're back to it. Um, this Saturday, we've got the night of the debutants because uh, I think there's is it eight or nine fights on the card. It's a nine fight card. I was just going to count the debutants up then because I think that's Aye. what makes it a, a, a fun night, isn't it? Because uh, we've obviously done shows with titles on it and good eight rounders and uh, people that we know about and, and, and talent and. Uh, you look at this card and you think to yourself, um, it's not one of our best, but tickets have sold really well, which is going to do because uh, the debutants, they always sell more than they ever do uh, on the first fight and um, you don't know what you're going to get from them, do you? And no, no idea. There's some fighters on here who obviously aren't with us, they're with Abbey's and uh, I don't know anything about them anyway. So. Um, it's going to be a fun night and you know what, I'm not just looking forward to it because we've sold really well and it's going to be busy. Um, it's going to be quick because eight of the fights are just four rounders and we've just got one six rounders so you know it's going to be a bang 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 and, and the way they fight on the debuts as well they always seem to be a bit giddy and, and, and steaming so uh, yeah it's going to be a fun night. Um, just going through it, um, Guy Kitchen making his debut. The kid I've, uh, well I've met him a few times and uh, but it's what I hear from other people uh, when I talk or when I bring his name up. Uh, they all think he could be he could be a good kid. Yeah, he's, he's dedicated and he's inspiring good kids. So uh, let's see what the start of the journey brings on, on Saturday night. I mean, he's got a tough test in that Jordan Granham, you know, uh, Great test gives everyone anyone a, a good fight. So uh, he's one debutant. The second debutant, a training partner of his, uh, Richard Popham. Again, don't know much about him, um, but he's, he's got Josh Cook. And then a debutant of Abbey's called Jordan Grayson. Um, he's a rugby league player, I think. Yeah, I think he's um, the brother of um, Corey O'Regan's um, girlfriend so there's a connection with our stable there as I say he's not with us but um, I think uh, he's another boxing retard because he's had a dog eat 50 tickets but um, yeah he did what, yeah. what, what do you expect yeah. from boxers I mean <laughs> fucking learn something new every time don't you learn how the tickets normally they're washed in someone's pants but yeah he's got a dog who eats them but yeah so let's move on from him kid called Darren Smith um, I mean, again he's at his it's his third fight, he's, he's fighting um, Jay Cosgood, um, debutant Andrew Kigalaski, who don't know anything of at all, and again he's fighting someone called Casey Brandon, who I don't know, so... I know, um, yeah, it's a real unknown both of them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so we'll say not to, what to expect. Uh, there's a kid called Lenny Davison who's not with us, he's with Mike Marsden, he, yeah, he's fighting on it there, and then we've got... Connor Lawrence, who's, who's now with Wayne Woods, um, he, he's fighting Victor Agarga, which is always a tough fight for yeah, people, but tricky as it all. hopefully um, he can do a job on him. And well, then good, yeah. we've got Travis Waters. Oh, Travis has been added, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, so Travis has been added on to it there. He's, he's, he's two and oh now, he's obviously one of our uh, North East boys, so he, he doesn't stop throwing punches, he's, he's exciting. Um, just looking for opponents for him because his, his opponent George Roper got stopped this weekend so uh, we're on the hunt for him and then the only six rounder will be topping the bill uh, is, is Josh Hargreaves you know it's been a while since he's been out uh, he's got the Lee Hallett test who uh, will sure give him a good six round he's always competitively he's probably to me you know uh, in the top three journeymen in the, in the country and, and naturally a little bit bigger than um uh, Jake, so uh, Josh. Yeah, well, listen, that 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 will be a good fight, and you know, Josh is getting to the stage where we've got to move him on. So we're back at um, Wakefield on the the tenth of June as well. So a lot of these kids will be out again, and 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 I presume Josh will probably uh, top that, and we might even move him up to eight for that one there. But um, he's gone so well at Wakefield now. I need a venue in, in, in around the Leeds area to keep the lads busy and uh, this could be the one now, yeah. Isn't there another one of Abby's kids on there? Another kid making his debut? 
Um, they right, might have been, but I think uh, he's got problems with his um, his scam. You know, right. it's happening all the time now. Kids with the first scam queries and all that. So yeah, Wakefield first time, load of debutants having the first fights. It's going to be a fun night. Um, what time's first bell? First bell will be um, ten past seven. The only way of getting tickets is if any of the boxers have got any left. They're all screaming out for more, so uh, genuine sellout as well. Right, nice one. And first time at light, uh, the light waves. Yeah. All right, Steve. I'll see you down there. Cheers. Bye. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.